story time because we all get to take part in it today. You all can listen to the story. And our text comes from Psalms 3114, which says, But I trust in you, O Lord. I declare you are my God. I have a little story to share with you this morning about a family of turtles that decided to go on a picnic. They had prepared seven years for this outing. The family left home searching for a suitable place, and during the second year of their journey, they finally found it. For about six months, they cleared the area, they unpacked the picnic basket, and completed the arrangements. But when they prepared to eat their picnic, they discovered that they had forgotten the salt. Now, a picnic without salt would be a disaster, they all concluded. So after a lengthy discussion, the youngest turtle was chosen to return and retrieve the salt at home. <laughs> Although he was the fastest of the slow-moving turtles, the little turtle whined and cried and wobbled around in his shell. But finally, he agreed to go on one condition. No one could eat until he returned. The family consented and the little turtle left. Three years passed and the little turtle had not returned. Five years, six years. Then in the seventh year of his absence, the older turtle could no longer contain his hunger. So he announced that he was going to eat. And he began to unwrap a sandwich. At that point, the little turtle suddenly popped out from behind a tree shouting, See, I knew you wouldn't wait. Now I'm not going to go get the salt. <laughs> Some of us, like that little turtle, don't trust anyone or give anyone the benefit of the doubt. We waste away our whole lives waiting for people to live up to our poor expectations of them, and then they usually do. We can be thankful that God doesn't treat us that way. Yeah. He accepts us just the way we are. He believes in us. He even cheers us on. He thinks the best of us. He's proud of us. When we mess up, he forgives and forgets and gives us another opportunity to do good. That's how God treats us. And that's how we are to treat others. Let's not but think the worst of each other, but expect only the best. If you bow your heads with me in prayer. Dear Father, we thank you for humorous things that occur in life that still make a point. We want to trust you. We want to serve you. We want to treat others the way you want us to, the way you treat us. And Father, we are so grateful, especially at this Thanksgiving time, we are so grateful for your love and your care for us. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <laughs>